Hey Green Puffs, it's Gracie and welcome back to my channel. If you're watching one of my videos for the first time, welcome. If you'd like to join the Green Puff Squad, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already with the post notification bell on so you never miss any of my videos. We are so, 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 so close to 30,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. And it would mean so much to me if you could be a part of this journey. I did come up with a schedule for uploads, but <laughs> I literally posted it last week and then like when the time came on Monday for me to post a video I didn't have anything because well I was busy <laughs> sometimes I'm busy sometimes I just don't feel like making a video just so you guys know I won't always post on schedule but when I do post those are usually the days I'm gonna try to post as frequently and the days I'm gonna try to do consistently but if you notice I haven't post on the days I said I would just you know it's just me not either being too busy with like school because my school is still going all right i don't want to keep talking about posts let's get right into the video um today's video is going to be a bit more of a talk video but i am going to be popping up pictures kind of just going through a bit of a timeline to be honest Whew, okay this video is talking about the one and only and unfortunately sad evolution of halos so yes i'm calling it sad maybe some people watching this don't think it's sad some people might think like halos have just evolved wonderfully but honestly if you take a look at the halo training community <laughs> i don't think you meant that way I have, so far, two videos talking about this subject in particular, and I kind of wanted to keep making a few videos on this because I feel like it needs to be talked about more, to be honest. It's a thing that, like, I really feel like I could talk about because I've experienced it, I've seen it. So today, I'm just going to be talking about the evolution of Halos all the way from our first Halos to the latest, everything in between, and especially how trading impacted Halos so much. All right, let's take a look from the very beginning. In the beginning, we have the Light Halo and the Corrupt Halo. Two completely opposite Halos, but both very nice, pretty cool. I like Light Halo more personally, but that's my opinion. This could be obtained by wishing at the fountain. I'm gonna put in a clip of somebody actually winning the Light Halo from the fountain. As you can see here, this was one of the first fountains. As you can see, this is very, very, very old Royal High. Oh my goodness, look at it. And that was, that was, th th they won the light halo. That is, wow, great. That same halo, according to mm, Tradery, is 1,700,000. Yeah, when I got that halo, maybe a few months after trading came out, I got it by trading away 400k in the Shadow Empress items. See what I mean by Halo's going downhill for the worse? And it didn't flash a color because nowadays your screen will change colors. It just gave you the badge, gave you the rest of the story. And I mean, a dazzling light Halo, which is really awesome. And it didn't even say plus light Halo. It said plus rare item, which is kind of interesting to me. Now, I'm not sure, but this person does look like they're on an ult because I mean, they have no other accessory but maybe they just were new to the game, who knows? But let's take a look at a few more Halo wins and let's just like, but let's take a look a little further on. No, I'm not gonna really be talking about the value of specific Halos. I've done that in other videos. I'm going to be talking just about these little pixelated floaty donuts, as people like to say, and how they have evolved and how it's been a sad evolution. In my opinion okay so like i said at the beginning of this video we started off with glimmery and corrupt simple times simple halo simple thing you got a halo wow that's cool you can show it off in servers but i mean that's about it you can wear it around dress it up but i mean there was no other real thing you could do with it you couldn't get it for value i mean trading was an out and then all of a sudden trading was out And 
I'm pretty sure that trading came out right after Lucky 2020 came out around the same time. So when trading first came out, guys, Lucky 2020 was the latest Halo. This is why I'm calling it a sad evolution because when it first started trading, which is when Halos really became important because they were worth something, people wanted to trade them, people wanted them, people were able to have something they probably would have never been able to get unless they had the very slim chance of winning it at the fountain because trading came out. See what I'm saying here? Trading completely shifted Halos forever, changing Royal High because Halos till this day are the top items to get in Royal High. People always focus on them, especially if you're in trading. It's like everyone's dream to get a Halo. And the reason this is a sad evolution and not like a great one where Halos have just been getting better and better is kind of because of trading. Now, I'm not saying Halos become worse and worse because obviously, I mean, the Halo designs are stunning. They're becoming better and better. But I mean by Halos becoming worse and worse is kind of the people who own Halos are becoming worse and worse. What I mean by this is anyone who owns a Halo and tries to overprice it. I know many of you guys know the pain of overpricers if you're just trying to get one. I certainly do, and I know many others do too. And the fact that people are just so greedy and just want as much gain as they can even if it's practically scamming because of how many diamonds or items they're asking for or maybe even other halos lots of people really couldn't care less all they care about is getting more and more in this game which is why halos have evolved in such a pretty much depressing rate because at this point they are just something that everyone strives for but i mean to be honest not many people are gonna get I know this may sound like a bit of a rant, it kind of is to be honest, but what I'm mainly trying to get through this video and get to you guys if you don't already know is that Halos have kind of been going on a bit of a downslope if you ask me. And this mainly is just cause you know, people want items, people want the satisfaction of getting such great items. And in that process, a lot of people become greedy because once they have these opportunities of having Halos, they want more, if not to sell them for way more than they're worth. I'm sure many of you know the overpricing that goes on in the Royal High trading community, as do I, and it is kind of why Halos have had such a bad downfall, in my opinion, because every time I see somebody who is overpricing a Halo, it just makes me so upset, because Halos could be used for such great purposes, like keeping them at reasonable prices, and letting other people have shots of getting halos instead of storing up, I don't know, like, like three of the same halo just to keep in your inventory for your own satisfaction. I mean, some of the, most of these halo, this fruit flies on my keyboard. <gasps> most of the halos aren't coming back. So just to see people who have an abundance of halos and then either just try to collect doubles, triples, or to try to sell them away for way more than they're worth, especially cross-trading, like trying to sell them away for real money, it kind of just ruins the point of Halos in the game. It ruins so many traders' motivation to get Halos, and it's honestly just a really sucky thing. Which is why I wanted to make this video, because I personally think that the evolution of Halos has just completely crumbled at the expense of trading. That was a bit of a rant video, I'm not gonna lie, you know, but I just had- I had to say it, guys. <laughs> this is my opinion, I hope some people understand where I'm coming from, and if you don't and don't agree, just respect my opinion and any other people who agree with me or comment. Alright guys, that is the end of this very, very, very long rant, I guess you could call it. Comment down below your opinions because literally all of our comments are so fun to read and it's like really fun to see others comment and interact because that way I know they watched it or have an opinion on my content. Thank you all so, so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already with the post notification on. The support means so, so much to me. We are so close to 30k. Do not forget to like this video and give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed or agreed with my opinions. I will see you guys next time I post. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!